Hello everyone, this is Mane. I want to show you today the new update for the Nitro Mob Fraction. The plugin is finished and released in this Monday. So let's show you how it's working this great plugin. Okay, so let's show you how you can make now Fraction in Cinema 4D R18. And also the magic is Auto Fraction and the best to make speed up your work, change stuff and review and done. So let's make here a cube. See how easy it is now. I make a cube. I make a sphere. You can do any object you like, just I make simple stuff to show you how it's working. So now I go to my sphere here and I click this button, this is me dynamic. So when I click this button, it's make dynamic object. So when I select now the cube, I click this static, so make static object. Last, I click this button, so this makes simulation, done. I hit play and you have fraction ready to go. And the magic is, you can make any change you like now, for example, I change my shape and I hit play and it's working great, you can see it's still working I change for example here uh, what I want and you can see it's working uh, let's go here and change the shape something like this hit play done, you can see how fast now let's go to the here, the sphere in the option and let's go here in the collision option and change this collision ratio 50% now you can see I have smaller hole and let's go here in the pieces and change for example 200 pieces and you can see here I have smaller pieces and more pieces, you can see how it's great and I want to show you the news here, what I have ok, so the next option here I have the new is the multifraction first so when I enable the multifraction in the cube, in here now I can make multifraction so this is mean I can make multi objects so I make one sphere here, one sphere here for example and I hit play you can see now I have one fraction here and one fraction here I can make more if I like make something like this maybe so you can see you change you uh, you make a change and then you play play and it's still working great so th the nice thing also is working with the clones so let's remove all this here let's select one sphere here and let's go to the clone and make a clone now let's go here and make for example uh, what I want here for example let's make a free sphere hit play and now I have free fraction with a clone, this is great and also let's do the same for the cube let's go here the cube and let's make a clone let's make this bigger let's also make this a uh, little bit like this hit play and now you can see how great it is now it's working with the clone, you can see how great ok ok so now let's make a new skin, I remove everything and let's make a cube I make a big column like this I make one sphere here and now I make this dynamic and this static and this I make simulation so next I make more spheres just a little bit up and more up like this so let's go and select the cube go here and enable the multifraction hit play here and now see one two you can see ok let's make this bigger so you can see when this collision, the next sphere is break again the column you can see how great, you can see one here break, another break here and another break here, how cool is this? ok, so if you want to ignore, you can go here in the cube and here there is exclude option for the multifraction so I go here and I select for example the sphere I want to exclude so the first break, when I done, you can see nothing happened ok this is because the first break is always is the break of the object so let's go in here and select the other sphere so that's why it happens, basically select the three spheres like this ok so you can exclude the first break so ok you can see here that happened because the there is exclude now you can see one break here uh, you can see the other break is not work ok so let's show you now something more cool to make some more real and more nice stuff here so let's remove all options here so let's make here a cube a little bigger just like this ok and make another cube here just like this uh, maybe make it a little bigger ok and also this just a little like this ok, next let's go here and make this dynamic 
uh, let's go here and make this static, a click simulation. Hit play. As you can see now, this you break the column. Okay. So let's go to the cube or the column here and let's change the strains. Let's make here 10%. So when he play, now the column break the big cube. But see now the magic. Let's make a flow. Let's put the flow about here. Okay. Let's go here and make here a dynamic option. A tag I mean. So when he play, you can see, okay, nice, it's break. It's okay. But how we can make this more nice and cooler? To give more realistic. So let's go here and make this just smaller. Okay. And let's go here in the cube. And now there is option connect. And this is a magic. So when I name the connect, see how now looks like the break. So it's breaking like this. And the magic is... When I go now in my cube and I enable also the mix option here and I break again, see this. It's break one time and when it's going to ground, it's break again. How cool is this? And also you can go here in the connect option and you can change, for example, here the force if you want. Let's say, for example, 50%. Just to give us a, a different resource. So you can see now it's more breaking. And it can break again and again, this piece is one is falling again or falling other object. And it's very cool, you can see how cool is this now. Okay, there is also a mode here you can change, for example, the A mode. This is give us a different results. Uh, and you need to play more for, for example, it's neat here. Okay, you can see now it's different. So you can select what mode you like here. And there is also here the force value and the tone value you can play with this and you have very great results. And I want to show you something next here. So let's remove the flow. Let's put a, a column here. Let's put one column here. And one column here. And basically let's make also of the flow. So this is the end. Because I want to show you this I say. So let's select this here. Uh, let's go here and make a, the B mode. I like this mode. Uh, let's go make this smaller here, down I mean, the position. Uh, let's go in this here object. Uh, let's go here and make 50%. And now see I ha how many breaks I have. So I have the first break, in, it's calculating. I have now the second, you can see here. And this one is collision again. I you can see how realistic nice it is now. And also, maybe I select, I, I change this to uh, 25 percent. Okay, let's see this how it looks like. Have here, here, oh, more nice, uh, realistic. And also, you can go and make more pieces if you want to have uh, more uh, details. So let's make this 100 and play. Okay, let's take a little more time because we have now more pieces. But you can see how great is. Okay. So basically, uh, let's here also, what, what else I, I want to do, and change the collision raise for uh, 100 in, in this cube here to 500, to, to 50%, I mean. So now you can see I have smaller break here and also I have this break. Great. Okay. Okay, so let's make a new skin here. So let's remove, let's make a cube, okay, uh, let's make a sphere. Dynamic, static, simulation, done. So when you play, you can see, okay, I have this break, nice, but how about to make more nice than it tears? So let's go to the cube here and make a tag, the tears. Let's go here, change the name, for example, a new or something you want, this is no matter. So let's create a new. Now, if you play, you can see, if I go close, I have these nice tiny pieces and this is great because now it gives us more nice uh, results. And if I go here in the loop and I say for example 4, okay, I have more of this tiny piece. You can see here, this nice tiny piece. Okay, let's go here and change also this to Amber Gluzo to give us more uh, here to see uh, more interesting. Uh, let's make for example just a simple line here. 
with uh, Arya Saddam. Okay. Just uh, put some lights here. Just a quick here. Okay. And you can see here now. You can see this here nice small pieces. Okay. So I can copy this tag of course if I want another one time and let's go here I want a 45 percent so this will give us a uh, small pieces a uh, bigger pieces and also you can change this if you want in the size mean is small so now you can see if I read in this I have small a uh, smaller and uh, bigger pieces now so also there is something missing right so let's go with the cube and uh, go and make now dusk so let's go here uh, right here dusk create a new and now hit play and see the magic so let's say about let's see here let's write this okay it's take a little time but you can see here the dusk clear and now you have also a dusk great and now you have everything to make more nice realistic breaks and if I go here in the dusk of course I can change for example in the shape in the review and now if you play you can see if the view of the dark how it looks like and also there is options here you can change for example the range the particle count and all this stuff to make a uh, more interesting stuff so let's hit, hit play uh, ready right here to see how it looks like and here how it looks like you can see also the small pieces of the dust also you need to play sometimes with the dust so for example it's a little bigger here for example let's make here 150 so let's make it a little bigger so let's ready again this and here how it looks like you can see how great you have everything ready to make very nice best fraction in cinema for the art 18 with this plugin so i show you everything of our update uh, i hope you like the new update you can see how nice is also you can see how speed up your work and also before i close the video let's go and make another fun here so let's go because a lot uh, i know you love uh, text with stuff to break so let's go here and change for example the shape and let's say for example something like this and uh, right here for example nitro uh, fracture uh, nitro fracture okay uh, let's make here a sphere okay uh, let's make here for example 80 percent let's make here a sphere let's go with the text make this a uh, study let's go to the sphere make dynamic make some lesson he play and now you can see it's when I go my sphere, where I go with my sphere, you can see it's breaking this text. And also, uh, I can select, uh, go to sphere, I mean, and uh, go here in collision rays, make for example 50%. Let's see how it looks like this. And you can see now how great. You can see how fast. And you can place where you like the sphere. And also, you can change object just like this. Remove the sphere, put for example a tools of where you like here okay uh, refresh okay it's need to make an enabling uh, okay by mistake I, I remove the yeah by mistake I remove the dynamic so let's go here and need to remove the sphere so let's go and make the torus and now hit play and now you can see I have one break here and also if I make more here pieces let's go here and make a for example a 200 pieces so we hit play because now I have one break here and I have one break here exactly where this two is a collision and you have how nice has it here the, the two breaks okay. so let's copy this sphere or be, maybe uh, yeah copy this sphere uh, this uh, uh, and let's make here for example a platonic okay and let's go here in more fraction and uh, change the mix uh, the mix option here and now you have to okay we have a lot here also pieces and uh, you can see how nice is also you can make as many you like so let's go here make another tool here maybe okay so let's hit play okay and you can see I have one fraction here, one here, and one here. How great is this? Okay, so the last I want to show you is uh, just for fun this. I make a, a small game. So let's remove all this. 
And let's go here and make this a tsundere. And let's make this just bigger. I just try to make a tiger, you can see here. And again, let's go to fillet and enable it. Okay, like this. And let's make a sphere put like this. And let's make here, for example, a dynamic, static, a sim. Hit play. Okay, and I have a, and I hit this sphere, this uh, tsundere. Right. So now, let's go to the tsundere and change this uh, to, let's see, to Z. Let's move this just like this, okay? Uh, let's go and uh, take the sphere object here, change the coordinates like this, and now let's go to the dynamic tag here and enable the custom uh, internal velocity. So let's go here and uh, try something like uh, 300, like this. So when we play, okay, this is uh, good. So let's make it just little speed. 400 like this okay maybe too much let's try 300 uh, 350 just let's see this okay this is good okay now let's go here in the children and uh, let's make a, a clone here make something like uh, Array, okay. Let's make this just, just, okay, like this. Maybe make something. Let's see. Just something like this, okay. And next, let's make a random. Here, in the clone, let's make a random. In the parameter, and let's make something. Let's see, something just, just like this. Okay, next let's go to the sphere uh, and make a camera, put the, the camera inside the sphere. Okay, and now uh, go to the camera. Uh, okay, actually, this I want to do, I want to make the zero the camera. Okay, so let's make zero. So I have a the sphere close about here. Okay, and put the camera now inside like this. And now when I move, it's move the sphere. And now I can shoot where I like. So let's say, for example, I want to shoot this tiger. Hit play. Okay, it's a little bit up, and maybe just like this. Okay, Le okay, you can see I hit, and also I hit the, the second. Okay, just uh, for fun this. You can see, this is for fun. Okay, so yep, uh, I finished the, the review of the plugin. I hope you like and find useful. You can see how amazing you can do stuff in the real time automatic fracture inside Cinema 4D. So the plugin is released, like I say, in the Monday. Uh, thank you for watching this video and more plugins coming soon.